if one just quick tip for those of you that have never done a Zoom before, and maybe this is your first time on Zoom, um, if you are looking at your Zoom, there is, you can see all the little squares if you um, click sort of gallery view, but if you click speaker view, then only the speaker is sort of front and center. So that will help you kind of figure out like who is speaking because there are a couple of us that are going to be talking throughout the night and I'll do my best to, I'll pin the video as well of who is the speaker. So I don't know if that'll help on your end, but on my end. So you guys, um, before we jump in and get started in the comments, I just want you to comment below who invited you to the call tonight. Um, tell us what your favorite beach body workout is and, and what you're doing right now. What workout are you doing? I just kind of want to see, and where are you from? So where are you guys from? I know that I started, my name is Melanie Mitro and I started Beachbody in 2011. So I'm like the OG of, of the crew here that you're going to hear from tonight. I have definitely been around the longest. And are there any insanity, Sean T insanity um, fans out there? Anybody that did Sean T insanity? Anybody? I'm not the only one. No, Jackie's like, I can see her because she's like a square right there in the middle. She's like, nope, nope. I did. Morgan did. Yes. Oh, good. I'm certified. Morgan is certified. Yes. So you guys, tonight we're going to walk you through um, what it's like to be a beach buddy coach. We are going to walk you through um, what the role of a coach is. We're actually going to talk to you about the coaching opportunity and how our team supports people that come into the business and to really give you a great overview of, of Beachbody and the company and the programs and what we do and how we earn an income. And so if you're listening tonight, you know, maybe you are a coach already and you are here for the discount and you get your Shakeology and your products at 25% off every month. And you're kind of curious about how you could actually turn this into a business and start to create some income. Maybe you, you know, were randomly invited by your coach who saw something in you and sent you an email or a private message and invited you here. Um, or maybe you're in a current challenge group and you saw the link or on social media. Either way, we're so happy happy to have you. And, um, and so I'm going to give you kind of an overview. And tonight you're going to hear from a couple of different women that are all part, we're all part of the same organization, the same team. And we're going to really walk you through what is the role of a coach? Uh, what is Beachbody? We're going to talk to you about what kind of support you get when you would sign up with us. Uh, what's the income potential? How do you actually earn an income as a Beachbody coach? And we're actually going to talk about the investment. Um, and you're going to hear a little bit of our stories in there as well. So you're going to hear from a few of us tonight and we're excited. Feel free to drop into the comments any questions that you guys have and we'll be happy to sort of answer them and field them along the way. So, so excited to see all of you guys from all different areas. I see Houston and New Mexico and Connecticut. Um, so we're excited to have you guys. So again, my name is Melanie Mitro. I signed up in 2011. I started with Insanity, was the very first workout that I ever did. And I actually started Beachbody because I, I came in as a customer. So I was really, really struggling after having my boys. So I have two boys who are now nine and 11, which blows my mind, but they were six months old and two and a half. And I couldn't I couldn't get the weight off after having the boys. I was really struggling. And I don't know if any of you come from that like era when smart ones were a big thing and like Weight Watchers points were a big thing. And so it was like totally cool to, you know, have a smart ones meal and those hundred calorie packs. And then it was, you know, a diet Coke versus a regular Coke. And it was Splenda in my coffee instead of, you know, regular sugar. Cause like sugar was bad and it was whole grain pasta instead of, you know, white pasta. But I had, absolutely no concept of portion size. I had absolutely no concept of quality of food, reading your nutrition um, labels. And so I just had a very unhealthy sort of understanding of nutrition. I also was the girl that every single year signed up for a gym membership in January. I was legit the girl that showed up for the first two weeks of, of the year, of the new year, and then was gone and paid the membership for the entire year. Or I would get class passes to take Pilates or yoga or, you know, like a, a cardio, like group X class. And I would do a few of the classes and then I would 
would let the rest of the pass run out. So I was never a consistent person that actually showed up for nutrition or fitness. So um, about six months after having Bryce, I just couldn't figure out why the weight wasn't coming off. And anybody that has had babies before, you know, with every pregnancy, your body sort of changes and it's harder to lose the weight. And I was walking, I was eating the smart ones, 100 calorie packs. I thought I was doing everything right. And in a moment of desperation, I posted on Facebook that I was eating celery and trying to lose weight, which was weird. It was like a really random status update on Facebook. And so somebody reached out to me, actually somebody that my husband, um, the, the husband of this, this woman, our husbands actually went to high school together. They were good friends in high school. We were Facebook friends. And she said, I can help you. I am a Beachbody coach and, um, and I really think that I can help you. Do you want to join my challenge group? And so before I responded, I went to her Facebook and I was like, who is this chick? Right. And so I'm reading her Facebook post and her banner on her Facebook was her before and after. And she looked very much like me, similar body type and, and like pre like her photo, her before photo was my current photo at that time. And her after photo was a healthy body and she had two kids and I related to her. And as I scrolled down through her Facebook, reading her post, there were healthy recipes and there were all these great shout outs about her challengers that were getting amazing results with their workouts. And, you know, she was talking about her own results. And immediately I was like, sign me up. So it was probably the easiest sign up. And so I signed up and I started in this challenge group, which was a Facebook group. And every day I would log in. And every day there were women in this group that were posting their workouts, that were sharing their meals. And I was like, what is this? I've never seen anything like this before. And so every day I would put Landon and Bryce down for a nap and I would take that baby monitor to the basement and I would work out and I would die and I would cry with Sean T because I was so out of shape, but I kept saying to myself, like if these women in the challenge group are getting results, if my coach is getting results, then I can too. And I am going to figure this out. And so over the course of three months, I not only overhauled my entire life, I had lost like 20 pounds in about three months, um, but I actually learned a very healthy relationship with food. And that was really the first introduction to clean eating and eating you know, small meals throughout the day and paying attention to the quality of your food that you're putting in your body. And I was like, I need to shout this from the rooftops. Like I can have a support system in the comfort of my own home. I can, I can work out in my basement. I don't have to go to a group fitness class. Cause I didn't really like working out in front of people anyways. And I could do it on my own time and I could actually eat real food. And so I found that that challenge group act, those became my friends. Those became the people I looked forward to checking in with every single day. And I found myself just sharing with anybody that would listen, anybody that asked me how I lost weight, I would tell them what I was doing. And then I would offer to help them. I actually used to have people come over to the house and I would help them meal plan and I would help them read nutrition labels and I would go through my pantry and I would say, see, look at this. This is the ingredients that you choose. Stay away from these things. Cause I just believed in it so, so much because it worked for me. And so then a couple of months later, um, I decided to become a beach body coach. And that was after I don't know how many of you are like in this moment right now, or how many times your coach asked you, but she asked me about nine times, maybe maybe nine times, maybe, you know, before I actually said yes, over and over, she kept messaging me, Melanie, I think you would make an amazing coach. Melanie, I think you'd be amazing at this. And I kept going, nah, nah, that's not for me. She would send me little videos to watch. And, and I was like curious, but wasn't sure I could do it. And then I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was like one day I just said, you know what? I, I think that I could actually, I think I could do this. I want to start a blog because blogging was a big thing back in 2011. I'm going to start a blog. I'm going to write about nutrition. I'm going to share my journey. And, and I want to help one person. One person changed their life the way that I did. If I can do that, then I'll feel successful. And so that was the start of my coaching journey. And as I got into Beachbody, I had never done network marketing before. And when somebody said to me, oh, you're a part of like that pyramid scheme thing, I didn't know how to respond because I go, no, I don't, I don't know what a pyramid, I didn't know what a pyramid scheme was, right? Because I love the products. I love the programs. They were working for me. I was just sharing what I loved. And so I ran home and I Googled it. What is a pyramid scheme? Because I was like, well, I've got to have an answer if people are going to ask me this. 
And that was really the first time that somebody had questioned what I was doing. And so sometimes, you know, and I don't know if anybody said that to you, but in, uh, yeah, I see a couple of people saying yes. So, and just to kind of debunk that myth of pyramid scheme. So, you know, a pyramid scheme is when there is no emphasis on the transaction of goods and services. It's when you just go to your friends, your family, anybody you know, and you just sign them up as a coach, right? And you don't care if they ever use the product or buy anything. You're just like, just sign up. And then the person above makes all the money because they don't care if you use the products. They just want you to sign up. And that's, that's sort of, you know, that's totally illegal. And the emphasis with direct sales, because we're actually regulated by the government, is there has to be a customer base. You have to have people using the product, right? And so when you look at Beachbody, that is what we do. We sign people up, whether you're a coach or you're a customer, and there's an emphasis on getting you results. There's an emphasis on you using the products, you having a start, you having an end, and creating a lifestyle change. It would be the same thing as you going out and recommending a product, a hair care product, or makeup that you love. You're just sharing what's working for you and things that you love and you get a commission for doing it. And now being nine years into this, it's very similar to traditional, even just sales, right? You are going out and sharing what you love and building relationships and helping people get results. And then you're building a team to do it alongside of you. So anytime somebody says to me, oh, you're in one of those pyramid schemes, I always say, well, what is a pyramid scheme? Do you even know? Because most people don't actually know what that is. It's just their automatic reaction to their sort of ignorance and it makes them uncomfortable. And they usually think, oh, she's going to try to sell me. So that's their like, like response, right? So I've learned that over time. So that's kind of like a good example there. So Beachbody, um, we don't just have workouts. We have an entire line of nutritionals. We have an entire line of um, supplements. So we have like pre-workout and post-workouts and a during workout um, supplement. We also have nutrition programs that are focused on mindful eating. And then we have our portion controlled container system. And then we have our entire catalog of workouts. And so our job as a coach, you know, and I'm going to turn it over to Megan and she's going to talk to you about that, but that's what we do. We match people up with the nutrition and the fitness. And we're a company that really truly believes in creating a lifestyle change. And to me, I can stand behind that because it's something that I believe in. And I think that's a really important question as you're going through this tonight is to say, do I believe in the company? Do I believe in the mission? And if I haven't done a workout yet, am I committed to actually doing a workout and a nutrition program from start to finish and actually journaling that so that that could become my personal testimonial. All right. So over nine years, um, I have not only built a successful business, but I have been able to um, give my husband the opportunity to leave his job. So we actually do this business together. Um, we're home. We raise our two kids. Um, we've been able to pay off all of our debt and live absolutely financially free because of the coaching opportunity. Um, and so I'm honored to be the former four time top coach and a, oh gosh, like a eight, seven time elite coach in the company. So I've had incredible success and I'm really a small town girl from Mars, Pennsylvania who started with 75 friends on Facebook. So if I can do it, so can you. So I am going to turn it over to Megan and she is going to talk to you all about um, what the role of a coach is. All right. Hi guys. All right. So quick question. Has anyone ever looked at their coach on social media with like a little eye roll? Like a little like, there she goes again, or is she really that happy? Or is she really having that much fun? Or does she really enjoy those shakes? Or is she really actually enjoying the food she's eating? Or is she eating cardboard? Like those were all of my thoughts. So when I first started watching my coach on social media at the time, I was a CPA um, working really long hours with a one-year-old daughter in tow. So I'd see her stuff and I'm like, you know, good for her. I've got other things to do. But she kept popping up. I kept seeing her things and, you know, as things progressed, I then got pregnant with my second child and I thought, well, I mean, I'm pregnant. So that's like that you can't work out then. And like, you can't eat, like, I just didn't have this conception of what healthy living would be like. And I would see her and I'd do the eye roll and, you know, she was pregnant then she's still doing those workouts. And I'm thinking it's just different for her. Like I kept feeding myself these excuses. And as my life changed, I continued to watch her. And as I had that second baby, and I made a decision along with my husband that we would actually close the doors on that CPA, crazy busy work life that we had. I ended up home with my kids. 
So now this whole excuse of like not having time didn't exactly fit the picture anymore. And I kept following her and I kept following her and I kept seeing these things that she was posting and sharing. And I still remember sitting on the couch with my son on like tummy time on his mat on the floor and my daughter was watching Mickey Mouse. And my coach was posting these pictures of like round off back handsprings in her backyard and how she's just so full of energy. And I am a former gymnast. And I remember showing my husband the phone and being like, like, look at her. Like, she thinks she's like, so like, she has it all, doesn't she? And at the time I realized, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I, I want what she has. I didn't want to admit it because I thought I couldn't have it, but I'm watching her with two kids. And I've got these two kids on my floor and the way she's portraying her life on social media, I realized that I was actually jealous of the way she was living. Um, and it took me a couple more months before I finally reached out to her. And I was like, I, I want to try those shakes. So I bought a challenge pack. I got Shakeology. I got T25 because, you know, little baby, I could easily do 25 minutes a day. She said, do you want in my boot camp? And I said, no, thank you. I can do this all on my own. And that was the end of our, our discussion. I bought my challenge pack. I canceled the Shakeology that came with it. And those DVDs pretty much sat on top of the DVD player. On the rare occasion that I would pop one in, I would then go to Dairy Queen and get myself another butter blizzard because it was the absolute best blizzard that they ever made. And they should have never discontinued it. But I thought I wasn't getting anywhere because the program didn't work. I would do a workout. I'd eat my ice cream. I'd say it didn't work. I'd wait a couple more days. And I kept repeating the cycle. This was in August. That following February, the 21 day fix came out. I watched her, I watched her, I saw it and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this again. This time, she didn't actually give me the option of being in her challenge group. I made a purchase, she added me to this Facebook group and I remember being like, well, I didn't really wanna be a part of that, but thank you anyways. And then the Sunday before the group started, she sent me a message and said, if you don't send me your before pictures, I will kick you out of my group. And I was like, but I, I, I didn't actually want in your group in the first place, but now she threatened to kick me out and I wanted to see what this group was all about. So I stood in my bedroom, handed my iPhone 4 to my husband, stood there really uncomfortably and I took the before pictures. And that moment has forever changed my life because what happened in the next 21 days, I would have never believed if I couldn't see it for myself. So I did the things, I sat there for a little bit, I was a fly on the wall for the first couple of days. And then I saw that the people who actually participated in this challenge group were having more fun. They were sharing the results, you know, week one down, here's my meal plan, I dropped two pounds. In a weekend, I was kind of like, mm, I don't really know that I'm having any success yet. And then it was Fat Tuesday, so it was Lent time. And I remember I went to the Pizza Hut buffet and I ate all the things, like all the dessert pizza, the breadsticks, you know, no vegetables. And I remember coming into that challenge group and posting for the very first time. And I was like, guys, I bombed. I totally caved to all the things. I had a horrible day, but tomorrow I am gonna do better. And then what happened was the next day I did better because I put myself out there in this group of strangers who I didn't have a clue who they were, but I put it out there that I was gonna do better. So the next day I was on it, right? Like drinking my shake, I'm doing my workout, I'm drinking my water, I'm meal planning. And as that process repeated itself over the next couple of days, I was like shocked at the results I was getting. On day 16, I didn't even finish the 21 day fix. It was day 16, I still remember, put my sports bra on, my bathing suit bottoms, and I snapped a selfie and I sent it to my coach. And I was like, son of a gun. Like I wanted to take pictures before I left. I'm leaving for Texas tomorrow, but look at this. And I was mind blown. Now mind you, it was three pounds. Like, it wasn't like this massive transformation, but for me, it was the first time I ever saw results with the home fitness program. And it happened because I leaned in to the challenge group. And on that day, I remember being like, didn't you say I could get a discount on this stuff? Because I actually canceled the Shakeology that came with it, but I really think it makes that much of a difference. She told me that I could enroll as a coach and get the discount, no obligation. I was like, okay, cool, done. And then she did another little thing where she popped me into her new coach training group, which we'll talk more about the support you get on our team. But once I got in there, my curiosity really grew. And I saw these other people sharing, you know, people telling their stories through team calls, similar to this format. And my, my wheels started turning and I kind of had this mindset of, if she can do it, why can't I? I saw what it was. And I remember not understanding the business, but going to my husband and being like, I mean, she's sharing what she's making. And 
I know what she's doing. I'm in her group. Like she posts meal plans. She encourages people. She posts her journey on social media. There is no reason why I can't do this too. And before like my whole 30 days were up, I went from being like a skeptic challenger to enrolling as a coach purely for the discount to being like, oh my gosh, if this girl can do it, so can I. And I hit the ground running. That was six and a half years ago. And I have never looked back. And the one thing that I put so much emphasis on is my challenge groups, because that was the turning point for me. That was where I saw it all come together. That's where I saw the support. That's where I saw these women supporting women who didn't know each other. And it was the most amazing sense of community. And I knew that there were other people out there who needed that. There are people on here right now listening to this who are like, I need that community. And it was the community from the group. It was the community from the team. And when that all came together, I was like, this is a business that I am proud to be a part of and I'm proud to share with other people. So one thing that we do as, as coaches, no matter if you're brand new signing up today, six and a half years in, nine years in like Melanie, is we run challenge groups. And it's because we don't like, we're not here to sell a thing. There are businesses out there that are selling things. They sell items where you purchase it somewhat. You know, it's a other, you know, multi-level marketing companies where they sell a thing, you buy the thing, and then it's over. What's different with us is it begins once the sale starts. So when somebody purchases a challenge pack with you, they purchase a product with you, they're put into your boot camp. that's when the work begins. That's where we come together, where we start, you know, I'm starting my next group on October 1st, where we'll come together, we'll talk about the meal planning, we'll talk about what fitness programs are best for you, we'll talk about what nutrition programs are going to be the best fit. But then above all, when someone has a bad day, they get to come in there and they get to talk and they get to share. And the one thing I have found over time is people have fitness, right? Like there's gyms all over the place. There's fitness, there's classes, there's nutrition. You can join Weight Watchers, you can join you know, meal services that they'll portion all your meals and send them to you. And then there's the accountability part that keeps you on track. And we offer all three. We take the fitness that you get through Beachbody On Demand in combination with the nutrition programs and the supplements that we have with the support of the coach and the whole community. And that's where results happen. And when you get results, the natural next thing is to share it with other people. And that is the gist of what we do. That is what we do as coaches. That's how this business works. That's where it all comes together is through the challenge groups, helping people get results the same way that you have got results too. So you don't have to all overcomplicate it more than that. Um, I want to say I'm passing it, Rach, is this? No, Kelly. Kelly is going to take it on to the income side. If you have more questions, I will keep an eye on the chat. Feel free to pop them in there. Um, but the, as you can tell, challenge groups are like my favorite thing to share and I could talk all night. So we'll cut it there. Kelly, take it away, girl. All right, hi guys, good evening. All right, I'm Kelly Guy. For those of you guys who don't know me, I'm so excited to be talking to you guys tonight. It's my first official coach sneak peek in my new home, in my new office, and I am excited to talk to you about the income side because that was the side that really, like, I don't know, I just didn't see the potential or see me having the ability to do anything big with it. And so seeing the transformation that, um, that our family has had with that over the years has been really cool. And so I am born and raised in Indiana. I'm a mom of two. I have a little girl who's six and a son who is three. And my husband, Jake, um, does the business with me as well. And so I have been doing this since it's been almost five years now. But I got started, like Megan said, in a challenge group. And I just wanted to lose a little bit of baby weight. I didn't think I would stick with it. I thought I'd be around for about 30 days and then peace out of the group. And I fell in love with the community so much. And I had great results, but that community piece was the part that really kept me going. And um, my coach at the time had a little girl the exact same age as mine. And she had went part-time in the business because of coaching. And so I, as I was actually for 13 plus years, a registered veterinary technician working in radiology. And I worked long days on call on nights, on weekends. And I, after I went back after maternity leave, I was really, really in a hard place, just mentally with having to leave my daughter. And, you know, I can remember driving out of the driveway in the dark and I would be bawling my eyes out because I knew I wouldn't see her for 10 or 12 hours. And that was a really hard pill to swallow when I was watching my coach. And so while I came in for the challenge group side, I started seeing this potential and this lifestyle that could be possible to me. And while I was still doubtful, there was that small piece of me that said, why not me? And so I finally, after a year of being in challenge groups, I said, yes. And I said, you know what, like, let's just see what it can do. Maybe I can earn enough to pay for my product. I'm liking the results. I want to stay in the groups. Let's just start with that. 
And then I did that. And I was really having fun helping people and sticking with the community. And so I kept pushing a little bit more. And I finally said, like, what if I could go part time with this? Like, what if I could replace my income, like half of it with my Beachbody income? And so I worked and I really was just doing the vitals that you will learn in your trainings. And we'll talk more about that later. But I was just doing the vitals, doing my part to live my healthy lifestyle and simply share it with other people. And I was starting to bring in this supplemental income. And I finally got to the point where I did replace part of my income. I asked my boss if I could go part time because I was once again kind of at that stage where I really needed more time with my family. And that was becoming more important to me. Um, and, and coaching was so important to me that I wasn't willing to give those two things up. And so I went part time and that was almost two, that was a little over two years ago, actually. And then I started dreaming a little bit bigger. It reminds me of that book I read my kids, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. <laughs> and I was like, okay, now what can I do? And so I, I started working a little bit harder and working in pockets of time. And so in the time I was coaching, I started with Kinsley, who's six, as an infant. And then I got pregnant with Graham, went through pregnancy, had two kids, worked full time, went to part time, and decided to try to see if I could eventually go full time. And so as of was the end of July, I quit my job of 13 years as a vet tech. And I loved that job so much, but my passion for that never really changed. It was honestly my priorities. And I really saw the ways that this business gave me that freedom. And having that strong vision of what I wanted and how it could not just benefit me, but the ladies that I was bringing into the challenge groups, the ladies I was offering the coaching opportunity to, the way it could help my family, really, really drove me. And so tonight, when I you know, chat with you about income, I want you to know like I really didn't have a clue what I was doing. <laughs> I just was showing up, working on me, and trying to help other people. And when you show up consistently and you keep doing that every day and your vision for why you're showing up is stronger than all your other excuses, your income will naturally grow because when you treat it like a hobby, it will pay you like a hobby. And that's really cool and really awesome for people who don't have the intention of doing more. And that's perfectly okay if that's what you guys want. But if you treat it like a business, it certainly can pay you like a business. And that is the blessing that we've been able to see as I've replaced my full-time income that I went to school for four years for and specialized you know, for 13 years in and replaced my income to be at home now. And so we actually sat around during COVID and I was like, we've always dreamt of moving somewhere south. And we were like, why not? Like, why not? Like if I quit my job and I do full-time coaching, imagine the potential behind that. And I just keep dreaming bigger and that's what coaching does. And so we, I quit my job and we moved to South Carolina and now we live at the beach and we just got here a month ago. And I'm so thankful because it's something I've literally wanted to do since I was little. And I would never have taken that step if it wasn't for coaching and the community of all these women I see on here with me that I'm such good friends with that really gave me permission to dream bigger for myself and for my family. And so that was a huge piece and the income is really cool but there's a lot of other stuff that goes on behind it. And so, you know, I just really want you guys to know there's a couple ways that you can make your income. And so if you sell what we call challenge packs, and I hate selling, I hate saying the word sell because we're not salesmen. Um, that was like my biggest concern was, Ooh, I don't want to be an icky salesman. But if you help somebody get started in a challenge group, and if you help someone get the beach body on demand and the nutrition programs and the tools that we have to offer, you make a commission on that. And so, you know, they range based on what package you sell, but, you know, maybe $50, of say on average for one of the beginner packages, you can make, if you help somebody get started in a group, get them started with a package, you get $50. And so imagine when you start thinking about not just the amount of income you're bringing in, but how many people you're helping and the ripple effect that that can create. So commission is the one piece, but the bigger part that's really been, in, you know, very important to us and most coaches as they grow is what's called team cycle bonuses. And that is you basically making a ripple effect. You being able to create a team with you that's going out to help more people. And um, it's, it confused me for the longest time. And you'll learn way more about it in your trainings, but that's another piece. And then as you grow your business, our company rewards you for that too. And so you can also make bonuses. Um, and so when you reach things like two star and five star, and you'll learn more about that too. You get bonuses quarterly if you hold that. And so those have become a big piece for us too, as we have grown. But I really just encourage you guys to just 
say why not me um it has truly changed my life in every single way and i'm so grateful and so i like you know the other day my son was sick and i didn't have to call in for the first time since having kids it was my first time as a mom that i didn't have to ask permission to be present because of what the income through making an impact gave me and so it's a really special thing so i'm going to pass it over to rachel I, rachel are you next and she's going to chat a little bit about um the support you're going to get when you join in and the training Hey, you guys. Um, okay, so I seriously thought about fixing my face and my hair, but then I also thought, like, <laughs> this is my life, and so I welcome to my life. Um, I started coaching in 2014. Um, I started as a challenger. You do not have to do that, but, like, I was that girl that, like, stalked Melanie, wouldn't buy Shakeology, crush the 21 day fix. And then I love the challenge group because she let me in, bless her soul. And then she asked me, I, I seriously sat on like three of these calls, three months in a row before I said yes. And I can remember <laughs> sitting on my old nasty couch, which is since replaced with a new one, telling my husband, like, I really don't want to do this. Like, I, I don't want to be a coach, but I really feel like I'm supposed to do it. And he was like, well, what do you have to lose? Like, I mean, you're already doing the workouts. You love it. You're going to try the shake, which you've done tons of research about. And like, why not just go for it? Right. And I was like, oh, darn it. He's so smart and he's right. And so I did it. I signed up. And honestly, my story is I just did what my coach told me to do. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I can't make it any simpler than that. Like, I just did what my coach told me to do. And um, I was, at the time, I had two small children. Um, my kids are the exact same ages as Melanie's. Um, like, my little will be 10 in November and Henry's 11. So uh, they were small when I started and, you know, Milo didn't sleep and I worked a full-time job as, as a college history instructor and I was tired. Like I was tired, but I had this energy from the workouts. I had this energy from the community and I had this fire in my belly, honestly, that I just wanted to help people. Um, even like, you know, my goal was not to become like this elite coach, this like team builder, this team leader, none of those things. I thought if I could get my Shakeology paid for that first month, if I could help a few people experience how I felt and what I was doing and just realize that you don't have to drink Slim Fast for like two meals a day. You don't have to go weigh in every day. You don't have to like put a patch on your arm, you know, like you don't have to do those things. I call it, I'm a, I'm a very much a faith-based person and I just call it God's way of getting fit. Like he created us to move and to eat the food he gave us. And that's what works, right? And so I was really on board with Beachbody's method and their approach to health and fitness. And I just wanted to share that with people. And so I started to do that. You know, Mike, I joined our new coach training, which is what you will do when you become a coach. And you're just gonna honestly, every day, take it one step at a time. And you know, the training in this, in this business, in this team, um, honestly, I mean, if you aren't even on this team and you just joined Beachbody as a coach, you could literally take the corporate training and succeed. But you don't have to do that. You actually get access to that as well as our team, which is led by lots of amazing coaches. Melanie has been a top coach so many years and she just passes her, her wealth of knowledge down to us. And it is really, I wrote down as I was making notes about the training, is that it's just duplicatable. Like that's the easiest term. Um, that I can come up with for, for what it's like to join this team. You never, ever have to wake up and wonder, what do I do today? Like, what am I supposed to do today as a coach? Like, it's all laid out right in front of you. Um, we have this amazing thing called the Business Activity Tracker, and you don't know what that means, but I promise someday it will be your Bible for coaching. And literally every day, I just do the things that are on the sheet. I started doing that in August of 2014, and I'm still doing that today in September of 2020 through COVID, through, through children who didn't sleep, through all those things. And it just is a business that works when you work it. And so when you join as a coach, you will get access to our new coach mentorship. We do lots of things, but we honestly try to keep it simple. We don't want to like dominate all your time. And we ask that you commit 
one, two hours a day to coaching. Um, and you know, you might be like, oh, Rachel, I have small kids too. I work a full-time job. Like where am I going to find two hours? But I always tell my team that if you get serious about anything, like we make time for the things that are important to us. And I started to look at how much I was sleeping. I was sleeping way more than I needed to sleep whenever my kids would sleep. Um, I was like on my lunch break, I was scrolling social media or I was walking through the mall looking for things I couldn't even afford. Um, you know, I was driving one hour each way to my job as a teacher and I just started to convert all of that wasted time into energy that I put into my business. And, and so I found the time, like it was there. I didn't even really have to work hard for it, but I found the time. I sacrificed a few things like Netflix binges on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night. You know, I gave up a glass of wine that made me tired and made me wanted to go to bed. And I used that time instead to work my business. And so very slowly, I'm not like a fast builder, but I was a steady builder and every month, there was an opportunity for me to join a training that met me where I was at, that was at my level of growth, and that has guided me into an incredible business, you guys. And so about, let's see, two, three years into this business, um, Matt, my husband and I, we both like really were like, okay, we could bring you home um, to be with our family, to make it, we didn't have any dreams of like, all of us being at home, but you know, Matt really wanted me to be home more and I did too. And so about three years into my business, I was working part-time in coaching, but I was surpassing what I was making as a college history instructor. And again, Beachbody does not guarantee any level of income. I was doing the work. Don't you doubt it. Um, but it was paying off. It was paying off, uh, you know, cumulatively every month, just that compound effect was happening. And so I went part-time at my college history instructor job. I still teach one class, of, a, one class every semester because um, I don't really feel led to leave it yet. Who knows? God does crazy things. But, um, you know, this last year, we actually started to homeschool our kids, hence the way I look like, but it is our dream. Like, honestly, this, I'm living a life of chaos that, that I love. And I, I would not be here. I would not be here um, without the opportunity. I would not be here without the work. I love, love, love the work. One of the things I actually like pray over my team is that they would love the work that they do every day, like the little things, the big things, all of it. Um, Cause it's the day in day out stuff that we're going to teach you to do that actually builds the business that builds the dreams that builds the income. Right. And so um, here I am, like you guys, like my team is amazing. My team is incredible. It's so awesome to be a part of, of this upline team. And not only do we have like the monthly trainings that are going to guide you to where you want to go. Now hear this, like we won't do it for you. We will lead you by example, but you have to meet us halfway for sure. And so like, that's what we love to do is we love to mentor you. We love to lead you by example. We love to share examples. Like you guys, honestly, you don't have to recreate the wheel in anything. So if you watch us and you're like, oh, she makes great stories. She makes great posts. She makes great challenge group posts. Like, you know, honestly, everything we do is yours. We share it with you. Um, but it is just, it's just a joy to find your own voice. Like it's a joy to find your own brand. It's a joy to, um, lead your own challenge groups, really, you know, like I know that seems scary and overwhelming, but once you grow into what you're called to do and we'll help you get there, um, it's just, it's life changing. And so at every level of this business, no matter where you're at, um, there is some type of training for you. And as you hit those like leadership goals, like I think Kelly was talking about team builder, elite, career, all these words you don't understand yet. Um, but we have so many cool things. Like I just went to Melanie's house that last weekend. It seems like it was so long ago. <laughs> um, I think it was last weekend. We went to her house just for a little like to be poured into. The weekend before that, I did a retreat for my team leaders as well. And so it's just, it's honestly a lot of fun to work hard at something that you love with people who enjoy the work as much as you do. And so when you join, 
you are going to uh, reach out to the person that invited you here. There are a couple ways for you to actually sign up as a coach if you're not already. I know some of you guys may be discount coaches who are loving the challenge groups, or you know, you maybe have never done a single workout with Beachbody. There are a couple of options for you to join. You can sign up with, we always suggest the challenge pack, which is access to our workouts for a whole year. It's um, a 30-day supply of our superfood shake, Shakeology, or the performance line, and then also our awesome nutrition programs, which are going to help you get the results you want, but also help you help other people. Um, and so you can sign up that way, or you can pay simply a $40 fee. If you already have all of that and you just want to pay the $40, be a coach and start building the business. Um, there's also a discount for military people. Um, so that's definitely a, a plus. I love that about our company, but you'll sign up, you'll join, you'll jump into our new coach training, you'll get mentored, you'll take the action, you'll hit the goals um, when you do the work and we will mentor you every step of the way. Um, did I leave anything out, Melanie? No? Okay. I think that was, that was what I was supposed to tell you guys about, but like, if I could say, do it, do it and don't look back. All right. Jackie, you are up, my friend. Ah, hello. Hello. My name is Jackie. Um, next month will mark my three-year anniversary of being a coach. I am a mother of four. I have a preteen who will actually be 13 in October, a little guy who will be five in October, and then one who will turn four in December and one who will turn two in December. So really big age gap there. Um, I actually have no business being a coach, which is the great thing about this. Um, basically, everything that, you know, Melanie talked about, you know, the people who come and say, oh, it's a pyramid scheme, um, <laughs> that, that was me. That was me. Um, I hated MLMs. I had never done Beachbody before when my coach approached me. Um, she hit me at just the right time. I, I wasn't an athlete growing up. Um, I, I never, you know, played sports in high school. I wasn't a gymnast or anything. I wasn't even a healthy eater. Um, I grew up in a family where vegetables were kind of a four-letter word. I was adopted when I was three years old. Uh, the couple who adopted me had three teenage kids already. They were very much set in their ways. And food was a big, big part of our family. And it was, you know, Matt, it was a German family for very, very German. So mashed potatoes, fried food. Um, every weekend, you know, would be a movie night with a bunch of junk food and pop and popcorn. Uh, my mom and I were, were more like friends than a mother-daughter just because she was kind of an empty nester when they adopted me, and I, I was the only one home with her. She was lonely, and we, we just grew really, really close. So all of my fondest memories with my mom are all based on junk food. Um, she was a, a really heavy woman. Um, about eight years ago, she actually passed out, be, or excuse me, passed out, passed away. Uh, when I get nervous, I smile really big. Um, passed away due to um, the complications with being morbidly obese. She was around 600 pounds, um, you know, diabetes, heart issues, edema, neuropathy, basically anything wrong that could be wrong with the person um, she developed because of her eating habits. And my biggest fear, and I know this sounds selfish, but my biggest fear growing up is that I would abandon my kids the way that I felt she kind of abandoned us. Um, and I know that's not fair to her. I love my mother with all my heart, but this, this is just kind of where I'm coming from. So, you know, I, I had always been a slim person, never really dealt with being overweight. Um, had, you know, a kid when I was like 24, lost the weight super early, didn't work out, didn't exercise. I was actually that person, that terrible, terrible person who would make fun of their coworkers for working out. Like, oh my gosh, you're getting up at 4.30 in the morning and you're working out, what are you doing? They'd be eating vegetables and I'd be chomping on some chocolate. I mean, just, just terrible. <laughs> you know, I knew nothing about fitness, nothing about nutrition, absolutely nothing. And <laughs> I developed a drinking problem on top of all of this. This, I, I only go into this because I know a lot of you guys who are watching this, you think I have no reason to be, I mean, no, no reason to be a coach. I don't know anything about fitness. I don't know anything about nutrition. Who's going to trust me? So stay with me on this, okay? Because I'm the exact same way. So I developed this drinking habit when uh, my son was a few years old. 
And it actually got to a really bad, scary point in my life where I thought I was going to lose him. And I met my current husband. Within, I mean, seriously, a few months of meeting him, I ended up getting pregnant. So automatically the drinking stopped and the eating began. So for the first time in my life, I was gaining a ton of weight really, really fast. I gained over 70 pounds when I got pregnant with my soon to be five year old. So here, you know, I am in this new relationship. All of these stresses are happening, coming off of, you know, an alcohol abuse problem. And I am extremely overweight with a newborn and I get pregnant again within three months of having my five year old. <laughs> so I'm already starting out 70 pounds heavier than I was. Pregnant again, you don't wanna diet when you're pregnant. I wasn't gonna work out, are you crazy? <laughs> and the crazy, I mean, the truly crazy thing is my husband was becoming a personal trainer during this time, so he was trying to get me to work out. And I was like, uh-uh, no, second baby in a year, this isn't happening, I'm gonna eat my ice cream, sit here and I'm gonna watch you work out. So we have Logan, who is the little guy who's gonna be four, and I decide it's finally time to start working out. I try running. I mean, I ran for 30 seconds and my calves uh, cramped up so badly, I like fell over in tears. It was terrible. I was doing these free online workouts from a website called Derby. I would make it maybe five minutes in before I started bawling because I didn't want to do it. I'd never done it before. I didn't understand why I had to work out to lose this weight. Why wouldn't it just disappear like it always had before? Right? I mean, I know some of you guys know how that is. So my coach, she'd reached out to me a few times to, you know, ask if I wanted to join one of her challenge groups. And I was like, no, you're not getting me into this stupid pyramid scheme. I'm not falling for your MLM crap. I'm not going to do it. And I took it a step further. I would actually go on to her posts where she was trying to help other people and give them free resources from other sites. I was a terrible human being, being completely honest. You will never find a challenger as difficult to deal with as I was in the beginning. So she was patient with me. You know, she didn't unfriend me. She didn't, you know, message me and say, leave me alone. She was supportive that whole time because she understood. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she understood that this was from a place of fear. Me lashing out at her and on her posts came from a place of fear. And if she gave up on me, then... I would never get better. And, you know, from my perspective, it was like, oh my God, I'm becoming my mom. I'm becoming my mom. And I was fighting against that so hard that I was lashing out at everyone else instead of trying to take care of myself. So finally, she got me. I am one of those people who always was working at least two jobs. I mean, workaholic to the max. When I was pregnant with my third child, the second within that very short period, I actually got fired from my job. <laughs> A week after buying a new house and a new van. It was fantastic. So I was at home for the first time ever with these two babies and, you know, an older kid. I didn't have money of my own. I needed something for me. I was getting lost. I was getting lost because I, I was mom. That was it. And I know being a mom is fantastic, but ladies, you understand we need more than that. So she hit me at the right time and she asked, Jackie, you're already working out, you're trying to get healthy, why don't you coach? And I'm one of those ladies who had to run it by her husband because I had no money on my own. I had no credit cards with anything left on them. They were all maxed out, no savings. We were on food stamps. So I spent the day begging my husband to let me do this. He was like, you know what? You need this, I understand, give it a shot. So I gave myself three months. I'd never done a beach body program before. I had never tried any of the supplements. I, I made fun of beach body, but I'd never actually done it. So she got me in there. I gave myself three months and I am so happy that I did because this, this has literally saved my life. Um, this January, um, when COVID was first starting to hit, I, I had just had, you know, that fourth baby, she was about a year old and I had a really severe case of undiagnosed postpartum depression. I deal with anxiety and depression anyway. Um, I have an obsessive compulsive disorder that causes a lot of issues. And having those babies, bam, 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 the stress of all of that, just it, it hit me hard and I started drinking again, January of this year. And it got so bad that I actually left my husband. I took my kids, we went and stayed with my aunt. 
I lost my job. Um, I was working outside of the home for a little while to try to help with that postpartum depression. Um, I got laid off during COVID. So the world is shut down. I'm drinking again. I have no job. I have no family. I have no house. It, it was a disaster. March and April were probably the lowest points of my life, even with all of that other craziness that had happened. I, I thought it was over. I thought that was the end of everything. My family was begging me to go into inpatient treatment. They wanted me to check myself into a, a rehabilitation facility. And <laughs> my stubborn butt, I asked, can I take my phone so I can check on my challengers? And they're like, no, no, you can't take your phone into rehab. And I was like, all right, then I'm not going to rehab. And I stopped drinking because I had this business and I had these people who were relying on me and my desire to help them, my desire to make sure that no more people ended up like my mom kept me from drinking after that. I don't know what, what it was at that one juncture, but it snapped. It snapped me out of it. And I haven't drank since. I'm now working on five months sober. Not only that, but I have now replaced the income that I lost when I was furloughed with Beachbody. This is my full-time job now. I make more than I do now than I did when I was working outside of the home. Beachbody does not guarantee success. I worked my butt off. <laughs> but I leaned into it, okay? I leaned into COVID. I leaned into the madness. I think the fact that my life has been so stressful and insane helped with that. <laughs> but I seriously, I started telling my story. I started being completely honest with everybody and telling them, you guys, you can be a total wreck. You can be an absolute, true, hardcore, hot mess and succeed in this company because they give you the tools and it's something that you can stand behind. They're not trying to rip you off. They're not trying to get you to invest your life savings in something that you're never gonna be able to use and that isn't functional. They want you to be healthy. They want you to see results and they give you the community to make you feel like you're not alone that can get you out of the very lowest of a low point into one of the highest points that you think you could ever be. I'm a two-star diamond right now. I built myself from one star to two star, or built myself, my team built themselves. There's my narcissism. <laughs> this, since I sobered up from one star to two star, and I've doubled my income this year because I refused to give up on myself, and I understood that there was this community looking out for me and really who needed me that got me out of it. So, I mean, you, you may not have a wonderful story to tell. You may not have, you know, a super inspirational story to tell. You may not have a history in fitness or nutrition or know whatever you're talking about, but these people make sure that you have the tools to where you can rise above. It's, it's amazing. And there's my babbling for the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm done. I could listen to you all day. You have a beautiful story. Thank you so much for sharing that. That takes a lot of courage, right? A lot of courage to, to share. Yes, you did such a great job. I know that it's not easy to, to share something that is vulnerable, that is personal, that, you know, um, just maybe reveals a part of you, you know, that, that you're still working through. And so it's so incredibly it's just inspirational to see what you've been able to accomplish through a really challenging time in your life. So I thank you for sharing that. Like the thread is just blowing up. You guys, as we sort of close out this evening, right? And you hear from all of these different ladies and we all have very different stories, very different backgrounds and where we've came from, what we've been able to accomplish and what we're doing with, with our coaching business. And I hope that you have seen a piece of yourself in one of the women that have shared their story tonight. And if anything that you can walk away from this evening is it is totally possible for you too. whether it is, I just want to get my product paid for to, I want to earn enough money to pay my, pay my car payment or pay down my student loan. Or if you want to create a full-time income that allows you to feel like you're doing something that you give back, that you feel like you're a part of a community, that you're surrounded by people that are cheering you on, that you're uplifted. You can really take Beachbody from the full spectrum, from a little bit to a lot. And we're here to help you make that happen. And so as you're kind of listening to this tonight, just to say, why not me? Why not me? I mean, I remember sitting here on a call just like this thinking, if I made a commitment, if I made a commitment to what these women are telling me to do, where could my life be? 
three to five years from now? You know, where could my life be in 12 months from now, right? You know, how, how different could my life be if I decided, and I think that's why I love coaching so much is you actually have control over your income. If you want to earn more, then you follow the lead and we teach you how to create more income. If you, you know, if you want to, you know, have a little bit more freedom, you have the ability to do that. You're not bound by somebody telling you when you have to work and when you have to show up. So anyways, and I think the biggest part too is the tribe. Um, the community. I don't know about you guys, but I came from, you know, an upbringing where I was surrounded with really catty people that, um, you know, not just not really great friends. And, you know, I finally feel like I found a tribe of really awesome women that have really great core values that are cheering each other on, that are lifting each other up, that we invest in personal development. I, we can't help but be better people because of what we do as coaches and we're healthier. And, and we are, going it out and sharing that with our kids and our spouses and our loved ones. So coaching is such a blessing and we hope that you join us. You guys, here's the scoop. We are getting ready to kick off our new coach training. It will actually start next week. So we will have our new coach kickoff call on Wednesday. It will be, I want to tell you the date. It's October the 7th. So Wednesday, October 7th, which can you believe it? Like next Wednesday will be October 7th already. Um, so we're kicking off our new coach mentorship. So if you are on the fence, you are thinking about it, this is sort of our pre-season week where we're enrolling and helping people get started um, and just kind of learning the ins and outs of what being a Beachbody coach is, getting you hooked up with um, your new coach training. So if you are interested um, in getting signed up, your next step is to reach out to the person that invited you here. Let them know that you are ready to get started. We will get you enrolled. And we will welcome you into our team with open arms and we will literally teach you step by step exactly what you need to do to build your Beachbody business. You guys, such a blessing. And thank you ladies for sharing tonight. It's been so much fun. Have a great evening and we hope to see you as part of the dream team. All right, guys. Oh, is there any questions? I guess we should ask like questions before we just peace out. Anybody have anything in the chat bar that you guys saw that we need to make sure we address along the way? Any questions? See your beautiful faces. You're welcome. What else? Any questions? I didn't see any questions in there. No? Okay. All right, you guys. Well, you know where to find us. You can email your coach. You can message them on Facebook or Instagram if you have any questions. Um, I do have a recording, so I will share that with all of the coaches here and, um, and anybody that wanted the recording. So we'll see you guys back here next Monday as an official coach and part of the Dream Team family. All right, bye guys.